What is it, December 19th, eh? Hey, Eric! Currently, December 19th, 6 a.m. I'm here with uh, our operations manager, Eric. You know what it's like? It's like Christmas lights out here. Ryan, come here, camera. What's up? Say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> We're about to be dispatching here in the next 45 minutes. We got all our guys coming in for the most part. I think maybe one might be coming in. Uh, or sorry, staying at home, he's sick. But we always got a backup operator, two or even sometimes three. Um, very important that you have as many backup operators as possible. Listen, Shields, you gotta say something. What do you want me to say? Just something. Uh, it's cold out. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like minus five. I'm pretty cold. <laughs> <laughs> I got some good videos of you over there blowing snow. Yeah. Shouting you out. It was awesome. wild. Yeah. Okay. Get inside. Warm your balls up. Snow event number five. We've been going for three days straight now. Um, and uh, we're just about to dispatch here in the next 45 minutes. Currently 6 a.m. We had seven and a half centimeters fall last night, roughly three inches. And uh, the crew's slowly coming into the shop here. And uh, we'll be all at our first driveways for 7 a.m. So we're gonna be completing one pass today, uh, sending out notifications as well, of course. And then uh, we'll be following up with a second pass probably tomorrow morning if it continues to snow. This is our third day straight, like I said. And um, you know what, we're getting really good. This is becoming easier and easier and easier. And uh, it feels really good to say that because you guys know, uh, if you've been in this industry, the first snow event, two, sometimes even three, are uh, quite crazy and could definitely be very stressful. But you know what, um, we got it in the bag now. Like I said, it's getting very easy for us. And uh, I'm excited. Keep the snow coming. Keep the snow coming. So um, hopefully we finish in six hours today. That's my goal. Uh, last snow event, snow event number four, we were six and a half. And then snow event number three, we were six and a half. So fingers crossed, guys. Let's crush six hours today. I got confidence that we could do it. So uh, let's see it happen. <coughs> Okay, so we're about four hours in um, to our run here. I'm about to go uh, start taking some videos of my partner, Nick. He's in a, one of our brand new 6110Ms and he's with one of our new employees, Rod, and they're going house for house on a route there. So I go take some videos of that, but just to give you guys a quick update, we're four hours in and uh, it's been really good. It's looking like our fastest one yet. I think we're really gonna be done in six hours, like I said earlier this morning. I think I also mentioned that um, it was about five centimeter snowfall. I was completely wrong. Or no, maybe I said seven and a half, whatever. I was completely wrong. There's a good 10 plus centimeters out there, um, especially with snow drifts. There's a little bit more in some areas and uh, plows because the roads were a bit softer, all the hard packs at the end of the driveways. So nonetheless, quite a bit to clean out there and we're doing a good job. We're moving really quick. Um, problems have been pretty minor for the most part. We've had uh, a window break in a Kubota, like one of the corner windows when the guy was driving down the road, it just smashed when he hit a bump. That does happen. And uh, I think uh, we cracked the light on one of the five hours, but you got 20 machines. I mean, it's going to happen, right? So very minor for the most part. Um, I'm going to head out right now, get in the truck and uh, go check out my partner and take some clips of him smacking some houses. 
So I had the city uh, come roll up to the shop and they weren't too happy with us. This has happened basically every year now. We always get a notice from them, but um, I guess they're really trying to crack down on us right now just because we've had a little bit of snow blow on the sidewalks um, and people complain. And uh, yeah, a couple of our guys were of course peeing at like the dead end of streets and stuff, like being respectable, but uh, peeing in places I guess they shouldn't. And they're pretty pissed off about that. But nonetheless, we're gonna listen to them and. Uh, make sure that we uh, follow the rules and, and keep them happy so that they're not filling up our driveways with snow with those graders. But yeah, for the most part, I would say uh, this was the highlight out of the day and um, minor detail, but all in all, successful snow event. Um, we did manage to finish in six and a half hours. Sadly, it wasn't six hours. I was really hoping on that, but uh, it didn't work out that way, but that's okay. We finished well, we finished strong and uh, the guys did a really 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 good job uh, tons of great feedback of course there's always there's a uh, few repairs and issues and, and um, damages and etc but i mean with 20 machines on the road like i was saying it's nearly impossible to not have that happen so it's just what comes with the business as you scale don't forget that expect everything because the more machines more problems that's for sure i'm currently at the shop right now we got um, one of our John Deere 5115Rs inside the shop uh, getting um, a sensor put in. Uh, I said overheating transmission sensor popped up. It's been popping up for like three, four days now and we've been still running the machine um, just because we didn't want to slow down production. We got here North Shore tractor service truck. Our mechanic Paul, he's inside getting us all fixed up. Um, and then after that, there's a couple little odds and ends uh, to fix around here. But for the most part, all the machines are good to go. and. We're ready for the next storm so uh stay tuned i'll be filming episode number six it looks like probably tomorrow or the next day it calls for snow for like the next five days so yeah stay tuned we'll catch you on the next one